Hi everyone, it's Mike again with another MIDI project for you. Today I'm going to show you how to build this. It's a general MIDI sound module with 128 instruments, 61 percussion sounds, up to 64 note polyphony and stereo output. Total cost six or seven pounds. I'm always looking for cheaper and easier ways to generate MIDI instrument sounds for my projects and I've designed my own circuits using various microcontrollers but it hasn't been easy and although the price of commercially available units has come down quite a bit I thought I could do better. The VS1053 is a very low price chip which has many audio decoder encoder features including a complete GM MIDI instrument sound set I bought a couple of these chips as well as these QFP48 adapter PCBs but when you add up the cost of components, regulator ICs, crystal, resistors and caps and the time and effort it was cheaper and less work to buy the complete modules from China. You can get various modules for under £5 including postage but they don't have the MIDI feature enabled. I think they are mainly used as MP3 players. You can buy a VS1053 Arduino MIDI capable module in the UK but it costs five or six times the price of a Chinese one and you still have to add components to get it to work properly with MIDI input. Here's one I made some time ago. I think you'd be much better off buying a SAM 2195 or 2695 module for a similar price which has much better sounds. I did some research online and found out that some people had managed to modify the Chinese modules. So I ordered a couple and had a go myself. Here are two types I bought. They took about two weeks to arrive and I spent a couple of months on and off trying to get them to work. Made a few mistakes but eventually I was successful with both modules. The red module was the easiest to work on and in the end the mods were fairly straightforward. Here's the result. As usual I'll put a link below to the schematics and other information so you can have a go yourself. This particular board has a mic input jack socket as well as an onboard microphone. There's a stereo speaker output socket which can always be modified for line output and an SD socket on the other side which I didn't use. There are 10 pins on the board to access various pins on the VS1053 as well as a 5 volts input needed to power the board. Component wise you only need three resistors and a small cap to get the board working in MIDI mode. If you drive the board directly from a TTL level device such as a microcontroller you don't need all the extra circuitry. But I added an opto isolator a 6N139 so it would work with any MIDI input and a simple LED circuit to monitor MIDI messages coming in. Two wires come in here from the 5 pin MIDI in the socket and two here for 5 volts DC. The total current drain in MIDI mode is about 35 milliamps. This is what it sounds like. Playing a MIDI file from my PC through a MIDI interface and out to some PC speakers. of the wave samples is not brilliant but it's good enough for most of my MIDI projects. Here's my MIDI keyboard plugged into the module. You can use any music keyboard or device that has MIDI out. Some of the instruments like piano, clavichord,
vibraphone. Some of the organ sounds. Strings. Voice sounds. Trumpet and trombone. are quite good and others like accordion electric guitar sax and oboe not so good and the drum sounds are a bit mediocre and because of the limitations of the sampling rate with some instruments that have a lot of harmonics if you go above about C6 there is a lot of aliasing noise But once again, for the price, how can you complain? If you use the device carefully within its limitations, you can get some very useful sounds out of it. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. The first step is to modify the VS1053 board. This requires some very delicate soldering and some very fine wire. I bought some ultra thin hookup wire for about 30 p a meter and used it for the three connections needed to the module. But first you have to remove the 100k surface mount resistor that goes to pin 34 and solder one of the hookup wires to the pin side of where the 100k resistor used to be. We will tie this pin to the 3.3 volt rail through a 100k resistor which will enable MIDI mode. Then you have to cut the print going to pin 26 very carefully with a craft knife or something similar and solder another wire to pin 26 finally the last wire goes to the heat sink of the 3.3 volt regulator chip and that's it well not quite The wires you've just attached need somewhere to go. I found it convenient to use a bit of strip board to mount the components and to connect to the 10 VS1053 edge connector pins as well as somewhere to connect the hookup wires. If you want to connect directly to a microcontroller and don't need the opto isolator or LED MIDI monitor circuitry you're left with a very simple circuit of this 100k resistor, this 220 ohm resistor, this 10k resistor and a 0.1 microfarad cap here. However for more general use you will need the extra components. The only external components are this 5 pin DIN socket for MIDI in and two wires for 5 volts DC which I will eventually connect up to a switch and battery holder or a socket for an external power supply. As a side note here, several commentators recommend tying pins 9 and 10 to ground through a 100k resistor, which I did, but on all modules this seemed to make no difference, so I left it off. It's easy enough to do, however, 
by bridging pins 9, 10, 11 and 12 with a small blob of solder and then running a hookup wire from here to ground on the strip board. Also the resistor from the positive 3.3 volt rail to the reset pin on the edge connector is supposed to be 100k. This was fine on the blue module but caused intermittent switching in and out of MIDI mode on the red module. The voltage at the reset pin was dropping below 1.8 volts causing this problem. By replacing the 100k with a 10k resistor I restored normal operation. This is the schematic of the MIDI interface on stripboard. There are many variations on the MIDI opto isolator input circuit, some good and some not so good. I have found this one to be very reliable. It uses a 6N139 in a standard MIDI configuration. This 10K resistor feeds the MIDI signal to a simple PNP transistor circuit, driving an LED to give us an indication of MIDI messages coming through. This bit is optional. The main MIDI data is fed through this 220 ohm resistor to pin 26 on the VS1053 board. This little box shows the components and connections required to get the VS1053 operating in MIDI mode. And in fact is all that's required if you drive the VS1053 directly from a TTL device such as a microcontroller. The schematic also shows a reset button which can come in handy sometimes if the MIDI messages coming in go a bit haywire. If you input MIDI data using a 5 volt TTL device then you must feed the MIDI in through a voltage divider like this which limits the voltage to around 3 volts. The opto isolator would eliminate all of these problems. Well that really is it not too difficult if you're careful with your soldering and you end up with a very useful MIDI sound generator. Hope you enjoyed the project and please let me know how you get on. I'll see you soon with another MIDI project. I'm just finishing off a MIDI bass guitar using this module along the lines of the easy bass I showed you in my last video. So until then, bye for now.